Hey guys, I'm Antoinette Yvonne, the luxury nomad, and this is my Van Zion. A tremendous goal of mine was to break away from the norm and live life how I desire and where I desired it to be. We are now walking through the city of Jerusalem. Who would have thought this ex-expat would be living in a van full-time, exploring more of her own backyard? Still, in my freshman year of van life, the past six months on the road has been challenging. Um, Jasmine and I are on the side of the road. <laughs> Meet Jasmine. Yet worthwhile. After spending an entire month driving and exploring through Mexico, I'm back in the States. I didn't think it was gonna be this cold. I just came from 90 degree weather in Mexico, chilling on the beach and stuff. Now I'm in Indiana, I gotta put on coats and scarves and earmuffs and gloves and stuff on, okay? And I have some major van chores to do. Join me on today's video as we normalize the luxury to live free, despite our fears. Clean. Back on the road again. Cheers to doing it anyways. watching videos of us i have been trying to get rid of your stuff but voices in my head are telling me to stop it's all i have left all i have of you thought i was more than a body to hold baby i wanted you wanted us to be something more i was so sure let my guard down for you baby why'd you have to Coffee, favorite coffee mug, beautiful day, your home, and just grateful. Heard the last video, you know that I am home. Drove 36, 39 hours in a few days just to surprise her for Mother's Day. And it was a success. Do you want to address the elephant in the room? Yes, I have my hair out. <laughs> Uh, it feels good to just have my edges free for a minute. So that's what we're doing. Having my edges free for a minute. I may rock my little bun all summer. Who knows? Anywho, now that we are home, we have to really get Zion together. She's filthy. She's tired. She needs an oil change. She needs to get her mirror fixed. She needs to be cleaned, deep cleaned on the inside. And we need to do all of that this week. out the fresh water tank here and how I do that is I have this tube connected to the fresh water and I let it out via this tube here that hot in here actually it feels good but me moving around it's just hot what I'm doing is removing all of my clothing from the van so I can purge actually since I've been on the road hours hours of work we know that ma'am need a vacuum that has a little small 
thing that can suck up all that sand and all the marks, getting all the marks off. And woo, looks like somebody been really, really living in it. Anything that I haven't worn in the past, <laughs> my little ponytail. Ooh, my boy ain't big, y'all. <laughs> Anything that I haven't worn in the past, since I've been on the road, will be going to storage or getting rid of it because I don't need it. So that's what we're doing. We also want to really clean my porty potty. I want to wash my comforters. I also want to unzip the cushion covers and wash those as well. So this is all of it's not going to be done in one day, but uh, uh, it is going to take a few days to get it taken care of. We are with the one and only Danette. Hello out there in TV land. I miss you guys. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so <laughs> we are home for the next. Uh-uh, don't give it a limit. <laughs> don't give it a time. <laughs> don't give it a time. For however long, okay? Until she get on my nerves and vice versa. You already get on my nerves putting my coach and coach and stuff on. <laughs> already wear my coat. I just came in. I just put it. I just took it off. And next thing I know, you got it on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this cold. I just came from 90 degree weather in Mexico, chilling on the beach and stuff. Now I'm in Indiana. I gotta put on coats and scarves and earmuffs and gloves and stuff on. Okay. Well, welcome to my world. Anywho. Okay. So today, <laughs> this morning, she's just gonna help me. We're not gonna do a deep wash on her. We're just gonna okay. get a. Okay, we're just going to get all the bugs off and I just need her help. That's all. Come on, let's go clean this van. <laughs> <laughs> let's go clean the van, y'all. <laughs> Thanks to Mother Dearest. Thank you, Danette. Ah, oh, Danette, you a trooper, Danette. It's cold. Good morning, guys. Today, we are going to be going and taking some stuff to the storage because I can't move around. It's just so small and then she has all this stuff, all this stuff. So we're gonna take this stuff to the storage. <laughs> <laughs> she left me with the what kind of bike is this beach bike girl it's a trek the... I don't know what that is it's a trek look it's a what trek what, ki a... what kind of bike it is I know I didn't actually name her what kind of bike is it I'm telling you it's a trek mama oh, see you talking about trek 17 inch we, we don't ask him about all that. We just ask him about what kind of bike it is. Trek. It don't See? got no bells, no whistle, it ain't got no resistance, no nothing. <laughs> it got resistance. Oh, it got resistance. It just don't have a, you know, gear change. So that means when you come to a hill, you got to work it. You got to work them legs. You got to push it. That's what's going to get that cardio up anyway. Okay. okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right so he's about to go into a whole workout um spiel and we're done we're done with that last summer we went to up to the pokagan national park okay excuse me pokagan state park and we would ride through through the trails and it felt so great on a hot summer day with the wind blowing in our hairs you know <laughs> so we will be going back up there when we get the girls next month for camping and we're gonna go bike riding again exciting oh, what you doing I'm, I'm honey i'm just getting rid of stuff that that what that uh don't need to be in here just taking up room you could say this for a day where i didn't have to work nobody knows but I would have known that she had to come and sort through clothes. Come again. Sun. Oops. I'll see you guys once we get down here. All right, guys, good morning. Yesterday we made some big strides to cleaning Zion. However, we didn't get as much done as we like. Pretty much cleared out all of the cabinets of my clothes. They are up in the house. Still have to go through all of that. Got my trash bag, and we are about to get to releasing. I just I just feel overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. I, I don't know where to start. What is going on with the world today? Draining, dreary, 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 and I just don't know where to start. <sighs> the front is atrocious. Shower is even atrocious -er, er. Atrocious er. It's more atrocious. <laughs> the fridge, I got stuff that probably is stinking up the joint. Cabinets need to be cleaned out. And I just, I don't know where to start. So I guess I can start by just getting rid of things that I don't need. That's just, I know it's trash. Just get rid of all the trash. Are you kidding me? Oh my lord. Antoinette. <sighs> Super upset. Look, look! Look at my pillow! I had to, oh, I, I can't even explain it. I'm so, oh God, oh my God. I, oh God, I can't, oh, I can't even talk. Oh my God, this is, this is, this just tops, this is tops it. This takes the cake. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, me sit down to the girl, my life be like, yo. Never look in a year, the book, I'll take the kind of year for you. The fish in an under, so can store her by my side, oh, why? Set the two up, put it for me, or the for the baby. You know, I would really like to take out my cushions so I can really clean my benches underneath everything, blah, blah, blah. And this fan, when I clean this fan, the stuff from the fan is going to fall below. Because I don't think I know how to take off this thingy here. Or maybe I do. I don't know. To be continued. Oh. How do you supposed to clean this thing? Soak it. Maybe I can sew it in here, but I really don't have a stopper. So back to my statement. I want to take my cushions out of the van. So when I do clean this vent off, the things will just fall and I can still clean this area anyways, instead of it falling on my benches and then having to take and, you know, get these cleaned, which 
I was going to get these cleaned. However, I think I'm going to wait until the year mark. It's only been six months. November, December, January, March, April, May. Yeah, it's only been six months. So I will clean these in November. Okay, so now that we have the cushions done, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> and then wait for the net for the rest. Jesse. Summer, there is a lot of dust sand and dirt um, so what I am going to do before I actually start to deep clean it is take the vacuum and vacuum up all of the loose particles that way it will be easier for me to spray it down bleach it whatever I need to do to actually clean it so that I'm not cleaning dirt on top of the cleaning supplies You talking about something I got 15 minutes, you... Look. Don't even go there with me, honey. Because I have been working, okay? Hey, this is, uh... You better be glad you, you ain't a client. Because this would be costing. Oh, costing. Is it open? Yes. You my guest? You want me to do Mama, come on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How did you... What's wrong with you? No, that is not. I, that is. I, I, I do not live like that. For real, I really don't. I don't know what that is and when they get there, but I do not live like that. I do not did live you like want that. This cleaned out. Yes. How come you didn't take the food out? Cause you put it in a bag and put it in the refrigerator in the house. You want me to clean that too? <laughs> Look at that. This is what I tell people. Y'all use it, but you can't clean it right after you use it. Can we clean that too? What is, what, what is going on here? <laughs> shower, I just need your touch on this shower in the refrigerator. I know that, I, I, I know that clean, all that. It, it just takes time, Rome wasn't built in the day. Right now, I have a face appointment in 30 minutes that I gotta get to. What? Forest. You ever had any shrimp? Bubble gum shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> she was just pregnant with herself, y'all. Guys, I just want to say that my mother is the bomb.com. Look at her. I, I pull up and she's got the door open and cleaning. Danette, what you doing? What you doing, Danette? <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Danette. Oh, Danette. All right, so. Mom had a good idea. I turned off my refrigerator because I have a lot of buildup ice in the freezer. Oh, which I see the picture you sent me. It's true. Uh, Look at all that. So these bl black marks here, they won't come off with a regular towel, water, and soap. Let's 
spray this first. But this stuff works wonders if you put it on a wet towel and spray it down. This and down. this really works wonders. What are you using for this? The tough stuff. Again, tough stuff. Uh -huh. For fabric. For fabric. Spray it. Spray it. Dunk it. Dunk it. Shake oh, it. Shake it. Mm. Scrub it. Scrub it. Mm. What I would let do it without her. Sun. Let it set in the sun. Dry. And dry. So guys, obviously the two key ingredients for tonight is tough stuff and the bartender. Tough stuff and the bartender. Oh, it's like being at the bar. Yeah. For I know how to so it's been a few days and I'm kind of in a rush to get on the road I know I don't know what I was thinking waiting to the last minute to get my van finished up cleaned getting finished finishing up being cleaned but it is what it is I had a super busy weekend so now I'm just trying to finish up literally repack my van with things that I think I will need for this next week and then hit the road it is 11 52 and hopefully i can get on the road by 2 p.m <sighs> ciao but i think i made some progress empty my gray tank i emptied my fresh water tank and i have to refill that before i get on the road the entire back of this van is pretty much completely clean I'm kind of minimalizing, is it minimalizing? What I have going on and what I had going on in the van. I got rid of a lot of clothes that I did not simply wear this entire six months that I've been on the road. And, no longer fit, but we're not gonna address that right now. And then getting rid of um, some of the winter things that I won't need this summer. I'll just store it in my mother's shed behind her um, townhome. The refrigerator is completely clean, perfectly clean. Just uh, thanks to Mother Dearest. Hey guys, so I know you're probably wondering what time it is, what time did I actually get on the road? And it is 6.30. Not only did I not make my deadline of getting on the road by three o'clock, I bombed it. When I was trying to finish up getting everything done, it became crunch time and a lot was going on. Long story long, <laughs> it's six hours later, okay? But you know, it is what it is. I got Zion all clean. She feels and smells and looks gorgeous. Ugh. I'm so happy. So after all said and done, Zion and I are on the road. Back on the road again. <laughs> we have a pretty long drive within the next three days, 12 hours driving to Georgia. But I guess you gotta see the next video to see what we are actually going to be up to for the weekend. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Hope this video was entertaining for you guys or at least helpful for you guys letting you know how I clean my van, the things that you can use when you clean your van, and so on and so on. Also, let me know what tools or products y'all use to clean with that you- Have vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Girl. Let me know what tools or products y'all use when you're cleaning in general, if it's a game changer for y'all, and if I should be picking it up or not. I don't know I'm really pretty set in my ways when it comes to my two products that are game changers but I'm open to suggestions <laughs> guys I love y'all I appreciate y'all and I will see you in the next video
Help me. <laughs> we are celebrating Mother's Day. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what I thought you were. Whoa. What are you talking about? I need somebody to come live in the van with me oh. to clean. I clean. Oh. I feel like just like my mama, she be fussing at me, I be fussing at them, we all just be fussing. I just got a big old five head. I think that we should, while I'm here, foster a dog. You what? Foster a dog. You wanna foster a dog? Do what does that mean? Do something good for the environment? Mm -hmm. the I, I do lots for, for the environment. Mm -hmm. Just leave it right there. Sometimes it may move, just push it back here, just like that, okay? But if you stop so, um, I, I, I'm, that's why I gotta drive careful. Here we got the Mother's Day spring cleaning for Zach. <laughs> Figure out why I have to drive my car. Because the kids wanted to drive in the van, and they, I'm tired of, of my car going back and forth, back and forth. And this is, this, you, that's what you got the van for, and she's for the drive. Uh, ma'am, this is not a jungle gym. I don't need you uh, climbing and stuff on stuff. So let me put my swimsuit on. Okay, guys, I found my swimsuit, and guess where the other half was here at home so I never packed it <laughs> somebody was knocking at my door at quarter 11 11 o'clock last night I said oh my lord oh my lord must be a fire <laughs> <laughs> this is what I gotta put up with for the next I don't know how many days <laughs> This is why I don't get kids. <laughs> it's been almost. You are just so rude. You just real rude, okay? I gotta, I gotta name her so I can yell at somebody, okay? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna yell at somebody with a name. Just ride, just hush. No more questions about that. Can we do that? Play the quiet game. Y'all know the rules? Yeah. What's the rules? She has a name. I think we're gonna name her Karen. Cause Karen rude. Karen's they be rude, don't they? So that's what we gonna that's what we gonna name her is Karen. Cause 